Greetings, True Believers. This is JAR369. Welcome back for another figure review. Today, I'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends X Men Vintage Wave of Storm in her black suit variant by, Fun by Hasbro. Now, take a look at the, the packaging here. The packaging wise, it's just the usual X Men stylized vintage packaging. You get the window of the figure and the accessories. You get the nice artwork of Storm in her black, her black outfit. It does says Lightning Blast. You get her name right here in the bottom. And it's part of the the Uncanny X Men. You get a you get a nice artwork image of the characters, and warning choking hazard, and also it's recommended for HS4 Plus. You get the Hasbro logo right there. On the back here, you got. A fully image of the figure, and there's a read up bio about the about the character. I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same bio as the the one in her white suit variant. But I'm not gonna read that. If you want to read that for yourself, go ahead, pause the video. And so that's about it for the packaging. Now let's release Storm out of the package. Here we got Storm out of her package. Now, I did lean her back on the wall because you see her hair it make, makes her heavier. So it does want to fall off, fall down easily. Now, take a look at the figure here. Now, the head scope is pretty much exactly the same head scope as the, uh, the one from the Vintage Wave. So I'm not going to take a look at the, uh, the, at the figure too long. But it somehow it's the same figure. But I feel like the hair is a bit different. Because it has like a little bit of shades of blue. While the one in her black suit. Well the one in her white suit. Has like a shades of blue. While this one has like. Just plain white with a shades of black in it. I'm pretty sure that's why the hair looks different. From the other one. And now. Unlike the um. The white suit version that her outfit is pretty much, I mean, the body is 100% same, but with the coloring effect on her outfit. I mean, the entire thing is all black and gold with a little red with the X symbols right here on each of the, whatever these are. And looks like they are glued on very well instead of the, well, they do rotate well. Hair pretty are stuck in them. I'm trying to fix the excess on here. I mean, everything the body sculpts on everything the figure is exactly the same because it's the same figure but with just like the coloring black in it as well. You get the little black little cape here for her, like, extend her arms like this. And you get like some of the dramatic fingers there. You can see on one on the one hand it's a little bit bent, so I might fix that with a hot with a hair dryer. And the body, nothing much on the body. Again, just like just like the the figure is pretty much exactly the same. You get the little shoes here, and on the bottom there's some Lego stuff and pegles in the bottom for you as well. But the figure itself is not that bad. I mean, the, the paint jobs, everything in the figure looks great. I mean, I do like the outfit on her. But I'm not, but I didn't go over that. I didn't go over her. I just go over a little bit. Because, like I said, it's just exactly the same figure. Articulation wise, well, it's basically the same articulation. Well, I'm not going to go over the articulation on her. Because, you know, like I said. Now for accessory wise, she does come with oh well, oh now she does stand finally. She does come with the lightning effects while the the white suit version has the yellow lightning effects while this one here the black suit version does have blue lightning effects. I mean I mean they look pretty neat I gotta say not too bad in blue because it makes like little lightning effects here. You can easily put on the wrist here on them. Hold on, let me do this off camera. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. And now the other one. <laughs> do, do, do. Yeah. <sighs> Come on. There we go. And now we got you got Storm having her hands extended to lightning. Yeah, because of the hair, she does want to fall off. Come on. There we go. Much better. But overall, it's a really nice figure, I gotta say. I mean, I do like the outfit on her. I mean, like I said said before, it's the same figure. But I say Hasbro did a decent job with this figure. And I'm really glad they made a black suit variant of this particular character. By reusing the figure from the, from the vintage wave of the X-Men figure. I gotta say, I absolutely love this figure so much. I mean, it's a really a not bad looking figure. Now, if you want to, if you missed out the white suit version of Storm, then this is your chance to get this black suit version of Storm. I highly recommend getting this figure, even though it's the same figure as the one you have, you already have. But I'm pretty sure you probably love other variants as well. For my rate, I'm going to give the Marvel Legends Vintage Wave Black Suited Storm figure a 9.5 out of 10. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, and comment on this video. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos after you subscribe. So you won't miss any new uploads and you can be part of the notification squad. And finally, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both links will be in the description down below. So that's a, all I can say is. So this is the Marvel Legends X-Men Wave St Black Suited Storm figure by Hasbro. And this is JAR369. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next review. And remember, if you're, if you're under the age of 13... Leave this video now. This channel is intended for adult collectors only. That's the main reason why I I have the disclaimer in every beginning of my videos. So goodbye.